Look at that. Let's, let's walk through a fucking pint of me in, in the pub. <laughs> Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the top top 10. I got confused because it says top five best on the screen, but yeah. top 10 things caught on a GoPro. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. GoPros are known for capturing content, capturing mm. epic moments, wide angle. Today I've got Harold and Minter with me. I feel like this is a Harry special, you know, like I Harry, Harry a likes GoPro. a GoPro. I do love a little GoPro. Uh, the stuff you would never expect. Has been caught in a GoPro. This video isn't sponsored mm. by GoPro, but I do rate a GoPro. Do rate yeah, a GoPro. I do like a GoPro. If you want to sponsor us, GoPro for yeah. yeah, we can do like we we hit them with footballs. Yeah, so I have I've hit a few a fair few GoPros in my life. I broke cons. Um, so did I. Yeah, I we break a lot of his stuff. True. Yeah. Sorry, con. DJ, spin that shit. Uh, run, run the riddle, rude boy. We're off. What would YouTube be like without GoPro? Oh, you just be like without GoPro. I love this guy's voice. He's my favorite one. <laughs> Probably just the same, just without the amazing POV footage the cameras have given us. There are a lot of amazing GoPro footage out there, but we're going to give you the absolute best of oh, them. Only Number the best one for, for my money is the best channel. one, oh so watch it and see if you agree with me. Here are 10 things caught on GoPro. Oh, Number 10. Subway surfers. Brian Garcia and a bunch of his friends decided to his go exploring. His pants are low, today. Jesus Christ. They brought their GoPro <laughs> along with them. Oh, the oh I've seen this boy. They have to run away from the bike. Oh, wait, no. no, no. At oh. first, everything looked normal. I think I know the footage only showed the group just walking around. And it's kind of boring if Yeah, they've got to sprint out, right? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is until they chanced upon a railroad tunnel. Someone in the group must have had the bright idea to walk through it's the like tunnel. It's GTA. I think it's pretty <laughs> obvious what the dangers are in this kind of undertaking. You know, trains, and you never think of the danger. And they went for it anyway. Oh About halfway into the tunnel, they heard the exact sound that they didn't want to hear. <gasps> oh, Nelly! Train. Frightened out of their wits, the group ran back to where they came from, just barely making it to the exit before the train came barreling through. Oh my god. They were impossibly lucky to have escaped. Jesus! But I bet they wouldn't be walking through oh the tunnel. Jesus! After that. Number nine. Surely that puts them off for life. Is that a yeah. monkey? This footage was uploaded to the Bexwin Production YouTube channel. Okay. It shows a guy strapping on his GoPro to his bike, obviously wanting to capture footage of him riding his bike. Nice. Yeah. As he pedals his way along a narrow concrete bike path, you see nothing but the path itself and the scenery around him. Yep. Then he came upon a yeah. narrow alleyway. It was here when something really shocking happened. While riding through the alleyway, like a, nice, a strange nice animal jumped from the left yeah. side wall right onto the bike. Oh! 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 The rider was clearly startled. Out of nowhere! <laughs> That's not a monkey, bro. What, what is, is it then? It is then? Bro, it's Smeagol or something. Look at that! <laughs> what is that? That ain't no monkey. That ain't Smeagol. no monkey. That's, That's a... a demon. That's a demon. <laughs> bro, right? so, like, a... you know the cod zombies, the ones that emit gas when you blow them, when you kill them. That's Look at it! Look how it lands. That no, ain't no. That's a human, bro. It's a monkey, but it's a not nice monkey. Managed to avoid running over the strange creature. That's what. The biker stopped to look back at the creature to find out what it was, but when he did, the creature was gone. Bro! Some people have no, analyzed the footage and have come to the conclusion that the unknown creature was a monkey. Yeah. Do you admit the creature does look like a monkey? That's not a monkey, oh bro. It's got God. it's got a human skull. <laughs> that is terrifying. It's, it doesn't look nice. Would you look? I wouldn't look back. Look. To be fair, why would a monkey be down an alleyway? Bro, it's hairless. It's like a bald monkey. What? <laughs> bro, I ain't looking back. Look I, at that. I ain't slowing down. Oh my down. god! <laughs> oh my god! You know, I ain't I ain't looking back. I'm I'm cycling away. Number eight. Mid-air collision. I've oh, oh. seen this. This is mad. Seen this. The next footage you're about to see looks like it should belong to an action movie. But let me tell you, this, this is 100% real and actually happened Blows in real up. life. Yeah. 12,000 feet above Superior, oh. Wisconsin, two small aircraft were flying, carrying a total of 11 people, nine skydivers, and the two pilots. That's mental. All they that were expecting mental. was a fair amount of GoPro <laughs> cameras. So look, the look, two look, planes look, inexplicably Jesus. flew too close to each oh. other, collided in oh mid-air, causing one of the planes to lose one of its wings and oh crash to the ground. Oh my god. The oh damage managed to make a safe landing despite the pilot being scared out of his wits. So everyone made it. Yeah. Fortunately, there were no casualties that resulted from the accident, and everyone involved only needed treatment for minor injuries. Jesus. That is mental. Where did the plane land? Imagine that, imagine you've, yes, yeah, so thank God I made it to the ground all right and the plane just lands on top of you. Ugh. <laughs> Number seven, an insane backflip. 
Adrenaline junkies have found ways to strap these tiny cameras onto themselves in order to give us experiences normally only they could have. This stuff, I love this. This stuff's so sick. Yeah, this shit's unreal. So dangerous though, mate. If you don't know what the Red Bull Rampage is, it's basically a mountain biking competition wherein competitors ride their bikes down a mountain Look through at treacherous that. terrain, <gasps> after requiring them to jump ridiculously oh. long gaps. Oh. oh, now Kelly here. Look, you make oh, a look at this. stack this, Gross. you're going down the edge of a cliff, bro. That you're would be too done. easy. I would have walked down the back whip while jumping these gaps. Bro. One of the gaps was 72 feet long. Oh! And already quite insane to land a normal jump. But oh, Kelly did an incredible no, back flip. No, look at the, look at the, no, look at the middle, bro. Thanks to ah! oh! The entire oh! jump oh! the GoPro's YouTube channel, where it's garnered 177 million views so yeah, far. Yeah, it deserves it. Number yes. six. Water landing. Oh, no. On December 11th of 2013, a Cessna 28B departed from the Kalapapa Airport on the island of Molokai. Kalapapa. Two minutes into the flight, the plane suffered from engine failure and had to do an emergency water landing. Emergency plane. The entire thing was caught on Legit. GoPro. Oh no! In the footage, you can clearly hear the oh, warning God. beeps of the plane, signifying engine failure. You can also clearly see the plane tilting onto its side before finally landing on the water. What's amazing about the footage is the calm demeanor of the passengers themselves. Yeah, right, no one even gave a shout Bad of panic days. to the point that the entire ordeal was eerily quiet. Mm. All the passengers and crew were able to don life vests and were able to exit the doomed plane before it sank into the ocean. Bad days. Fortunately, yeah. there was one fatality. A oh. passenger who mistakenly wore an infant's life vest, which was rated only for 35 pounds. Oh. The rest of the passengers and crew were rescued by the Coast Guard 80 minutes later. He's out of stinker. My God. Whoa, oh, no. That is a rotter. <laughs> he's, he's so close, mate. He just put the wrong life vest on. Number five. Attack of the Yak. Mountain biking is awesome. Although I've yet to try it, it does look really fun to do. Sorry, attack at a yak. Is, is, is like a sheep gonna get him or something? And we owe thanks to people strapping down GoPros before barreling down mountainsides. This next clip would have been one of those amazing pieces of footage that would convince me to go try mountain biking. But for one very terrifying thing. What is a yak? It's like a, it's like an elk or something, right? No, it's not the steep drops or the slippery trails where one misstep could send you down the mountainside. It's actually if a wild animal attacks. This piece of footage was taken by a group of mountain bikers going down the slopes of one of the mountains in Tibet. I'd love to do this. This was really fun. This looks so cool, yeah. Like, this ain't too extreme. No, this isn't jumps and that. This is just uh, fun vibes. This I is where you that. definitely need the fucking ass pads that Ethan has. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ass mate. pads and helmets, mate, definitely. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, the Jesus. Yo, that, that's that's a Bro. He charged Bro, the was fortunately able to dismount and use the bike as a barrier between him and the angry animal. Yo, yeah. The rider was mad. eventually able to back wow. off and ride away safely, though. Like, get away, get away. Wow. Yo, yaks are mad. I didn't know what a yak looked like. No, bro. Right, that shout out do... yak, bro. They must... How many yaks are there in the world now, bro? There must be minimal yaks. Wait, it, will, it will yak you. I'll tell you what. Look at them, mate. How many yaks are left in the world? Under 10,000. Bro, under 10,000 yaks. Oh, we just saw a yak. <laughs> yeah. Simon, go yak hunting. In this clip, you'll see a full-grown man attacked by a cute baby moose. Yes, Aww. you heard me right. A baby moose. Unfortunately, I can't find any substantial backstory for this clip. Whether the moose was accidentally caught in a trap or it was intentionally caught for a scientific research, we don't really know. The clip starts with a man trying to set the baby moose free. But as soon as it's free, instead of running into the nearby woods, it immediately trampled the oh man. My God, that ain't baby! That ain't no baby! Oh my oh, this God! This is terrifying! I'm booting it though, I'm not gonna lie, you lot. Number three. Stuck in a cave. Ah, I hate this stuff. 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 Are you claustrophobic? Uh, I am. This makes me feel weird. I'm not that claustrophobic. I just hate the idea of like just caving, like the the, the getting stuck in somewhere. See this? I don't get this. Like why? Like what's fit. the fun in this? Why what's the, I don't there? get the fun in it, bro. It's just, <laughs> just terrifying. You're not meant to fit here, bro. Get out. I could chill in a cupboard all day. Like, I'm not. I don't. I don't. Don't. don't, don't oh, no. do that. <laughs> I could but, chill like, in a could, cupboard. I could. Yeah, I could, bro. We I, found I out what Harry does. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't mind that. It's just, it's just like the if I know I could be stuck here forever, like I, it's just terrifying. He and his friends have been exploring the cave for around three hours already when they came upon a narrow part of the cave called the tube. 
No, no back. came in second to squeeze into the narrow gap, There's was the no biggest way. in the group, no and got stuck oh. in the narrow pass. Initially, the group found his predicament pretty hilarious. That was until they saw that water was quickly rising around. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fortunately, he was successfully pulled out by his friends, and they opted to continue exploring the cave, but using a different route. Instead of being put off caving due to this harrowing experience, Bob still caves to this day. Uh, yeah, you, these guys are different breeds. <sighs> yeah, I'm never gonna go shots. caving. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Oh, there we go. Fortunately, this photo actually never happened, but rather oh, it's a clever it editing job using the movie poster <laughs> for The Meg, which starred Jason Statham as the basis. But that's not to say that there aren't any near misses with sharks filmed on GoPro. <laughs> Speaking of which, number two. Wait, that was it. Nice little segue. Really close call. Ooh. Diving off the coast of South Africa comes with great white People that do this are weird as well, the shot. No, shot. I'd like it's to less do this. so much. I'd like I, to go I, diving like this. This is cool. Because at least with this, you're seeing like cool shit. Like you're seeing yeah. like coral creatures. Whereas the cave in, you're just seeing like it's just cold, wet, and muddy. Like there's no, there's no. Yeah, this is cool shit. What about shark cages? I think I'd, I'd like to do it one day. I'd like to do it one day. I'd do it one day, as but I'd, I'd, I'd happily pay thousands more to make sure that the cage is safe. But the cage is safe anyway, bro. Bro, now have you seen these videos of the ones where the sharks somehow managed to get into the top of the cage? They, they start biting the cage up and that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, I ain't on that. I ain't on that. All right, Tell bro. you what, Netflix, if you're out there and you want to do like Sidemen Do Adventures, I'm telling you now, we've got a couple willing participants. I, would, I, yeah, I do it for a video. I'll go in a shark video. cage. I'll do it for as long video. as yeah. like, if you want to take Netflix are putting it on. <laughs> if you want to take the Sidemen show and elevate it incredibly, yeah. email Josh. <laughs> yeah, we'll put we'll put Harry in a cave. Don't we'll put, put me in a fucking bar. I don't put me in a fucking cave. You're off your head. You know, you know, I'm I'm actually really don't. I, I'm always silent, but I don't like. Uh, I went spearfishing once in Guernsey. Oh shit, did you? Yeah, and I hated it, mate. Because once you're underwater, you just like the pressure and just like yeah. I, I freaked out. I wasn't good with it, but I would like to improve at it, so I would try. Uh, you can send me and Harry mountain biking with the axe. <laughs> we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll I'll do. I'll do that biking that we yeah, saw. We'll, I went we'll, to, we'll I went to the Red up. Bull one. No, 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 yeah. not, the Red Bull one's a bit too far. But yeah, listen, even Email Josh and let us know. Legit Netflix, come on, lads. Come on, come on. Yeah, come on. It's, come it's on. You got money. Now. You got people. It's time. We've been here for eight years oh. now. Come on. <laughs> Spear fisherman Johan Potgeiter had an extremely close encounter with one of these vicious predators and was all filmed by his GoPro. Barely minutes into his dive, a great white shark can be seen swimming into view. Oh! Left. He was so I surprised by this, he could hear his muffled scream, but the shark hasn't finished with him yet. It came swimming straight towards Johan, but was fortunately forced to swim away by the sharp tip of Johan's spear gun. Jesus Johan, of Christ. course, swam back to the surface as fast as he could. Oh my as god, that's terrifying. As soon as he broke the surface, he looked down to see the shark swimming beneath him. Fortunately, the tip of his spear gun was pointed downwards, making the shark think twice before attacking. Johan's friends came to his rescue and pulled him to the safety of the boat. You're like, lad, you're not going to believe this one. <laughs> <laughs> they like, I bet it was just a big fish, lad. <laughs> Number one. All right, here we go. Thank God for the helmet. Oh, I think there are a million this. reasons why being this. a soldier is one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. Soldiers literally put their life on the line every single day that they are deployed. It's a tricky job being a soldier, mate, but it's no, it's not being a sideman. I tell you that for nothing. <laughs> You're a fucking dickhead. You. I hate you so much. You're a fucking dickhead. <laughs> the entire thing was filmed by the helmet cam of one of the soldiers on patrol. And they could be seen going through a series of tunnels of some sort, when all of a sudden a bullet streaks and hits one of the soldiers' helmets. Oh, that's Realizing so that fucked, there was a sniper in so the fucked. area, the team made a hasty retreat to assess the situation. If you look at the footage closely, you can clearly see the moment of the bullet hitting Bro. the helmet. That is so fucked. Wigged him. Wigged him. Wigged him. <laughs> Wigged him, bro. See that thumbnail on the right, by the way? Yeah. yeah. You're telling me the fish aren't aliens. Look at that. That's, that's what threw a fucking pint over me in, in the pub. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my oh. God. And on that oh. note. On that note. <laughs> we are, oh we are ending the video. Uh, oh. We'll see you guys next time. Come on, Netflix. Give us some money. Why, Ethan? Why? <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong, though. He's not wrong. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>